Good morning, class. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not grading your uh, informative topics more quickly. I don't know why I had it in mind that they weren't due until Saturday, so giving feedback today would have been timely, but they were due Tuesday, so I made an error. Given that, if you need more time to complete your presentation, I am perfectly comfortable with that. Just let me know what you need and we can make that work because some of you probably would have been working ahead. Now, I don't think all of you would have been working ahead, uh, but certainly many of you would. So let's talk about the speech a little bit. One thing I focused on a lot in discussion last week was introductions because many of you lost 15 to 20 points on your assignment, your how to or your demonstration speech based on not really having the separate points of the introduction. So I hope I've covered all those now. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I don't want to go overboard with covering these, but it is a lot of points of each speech. And the reason for that is because it's the first impression that your speech makes. Uh, just like the first impression you make as a person. I also made some comments about concluded conclusions. Your conclusion should include a summary, a transition to the conclusion, which can be as blatant as in conclusion, a summary of your main points. Today I have covered the, the three aspects of Finnish culture, uh, A, B, and C, and then some memorable last line that can tie back to your introduction. So something about, if we take this cultural uh, topic of Finland, maybe, uh, hopefully I've encouraged you to visit Finland, as they say there, and then have some line that you might say in Finnish. That's just an example. There are many other possibilities of what you could do. Also with this speech, one of the big requirements is having visual aids. So you need to either have a slide, a picture, a uh, multiple pictures, multiple slides, because you'll see that one of the criteria is integrating these throughout your speech. So if you have just have one that you show at the beginning, that doesn't meet that criteria. I would think maybe uh, three to four that are integrated throughout the speech would make the most sense. Uh, to meet that criteria. Another thing that's new here is using sources. So you do need a reference list and you need to orally say when you use a source, something like according to the New York Times from July 13th of 2019. Now with this topic, be careful about falling for what I will call the weak websites, about.com culture.com. Those would not count as credible sources, so keep that in mind as you go through. Another thing I would say about the speech that may help you with your introduction to go back for that, go back to that again, is using a family story. So somebody in our class is doing a speech on Polish Christmas, and I would think there's probably a great picture you could use in addition with telling a story that would make for a great, great introduction. One last thing I want to mention, and that's sticking with the time limit. The way to stick with the time limit is to time it in practice before you record. And if it's a little bit over, you're probably going to speed up naturally when you speak. But if you already know it's twice the limit, for example, you need to shorten what you cover. Keep in mind that I know you have a time limit, so you don't have to cover every single thing about the speech. So those are just a few things about this week's assignment. And again, I apologize for not getting the topic graded earlier. And if you need to take extended time, just let me know. With that, here's to another good week of class. We're at Module 4.